Welcome to 20 Small Mazes. I am a blue dot, and the main menu is a maze. Click and drag with the mouse to move mazes. So like, oh, there's a maze behind the maze. Solve this to start a new game. Uh, the main menu is the tutorial. That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the cool save two. Ah, that's a lot of mazes. Fold mazeable, press space to fold and unfold. Oh, interesting, okay, so if I fold, where am I? I'm gone. But like, I could probably use that to access different parts of the maze, like jumping over here and then coming around. Oh, that's clever. And maybe coming down around here, moving. Nope, that's a dead end, unless I wanna come over through to here. Jump on over, connect, see how far it lets me go. Well, down here, I feel like it's not gonna be that easy. Well, it actually might be that easy, cause yeah, I could probably come over here, get to the door, solve the maze. Where's it go? Where does the maze go when it dies? To a cloudy day. Um, do I press space to do something? Do clouds teleport me? They actually do. Okay, so I'm gonna work at this one backwards. Going from the door, I would go to, oh, uh, this non-distinct cloud, which looks like a lot of different clouds. Okay, I think I just need to try with a little bit of, uh, just testing, I think. Unless if there's like subtle differences between the clouds, maybe there aren't. No, there isn't. So I'm just I'm just gonna keep trying things until I get somewhere. Maybe there's only one way to go. Well, I didn't go into this path yet, nor into this path. Hey, there we go. Cruel, but finished. Dig halfway to the X. Wait a second. Ah, <laughs> a treasure map. You gotta place it together, dig halfway. I do not have a controllable character on this. Do I piece it together in a strange way? Do I line up the edges of it? What do you mean by dig halfway to the X? I don't know, let's do this under construction one. Uh, I assume I can push the, yeah, walls around. I see, I have four breaks. So to get to there, <laughs> I love all those turns. Oh, I got a break, ooh, four walls. I'm looking at a cool one, no. Two, no, no, three, four. <laughs> Got it. Oh, the buried treasure. Ah, the solution is here. So dig halfway to the X. What is halfway? I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, the one at the bottom was the Abe, so it would be here. Oh, nice. Solved it. Gravity points down. Oh, so it's a puzzle with gravity and <laughs> it physically rotates the puzzle. Oh, nice, okay. So, getting the hang of that. Seems like there's only one place to go. And now, I imagine I would go this way. I do not fall through arrows. I fall until I hit an arrow. I think I'll go with this one, then this one, and let it direct me. So if I wanna get to there, I just gotta get through the long tunnel somehow. So that means I gotta get to this arrow. And how do I do that? Well, I don't know, because this is my only option. And then I must fall here. So maybe this doesn't really help yet. I could fall like this, down then over, possibly fall in this way. Well, then I'd have a long fall, but I could go like so, so I could go this way and then this way. And now I'm at that arrow, so I'm at the halfway point about. So here I am. I gotta get to this upper right arrow, probably from this arrow. I zigzag over, then I get here from this down arrow. I feel like the only place I can start is with this arrow. And then kinda hit this upside down arrow, then come the other way just to sneak over to the next arrow. And then do it again, the next arrow. But then I'm gonna go on one hell of a chain. This looks okay. This looks okay, cause I can make it this arrow, do the same trick I just did, and then zigzag. There we go, that's the solution. Got him. You are the maze. <laughs> so I, I gotta get past these red points to touch the door. Wait, that's so funny. And there's no way I can sneak under or over, obviously. So obviously they've gotta enter. Oh, that is so clever. That is so cute and funny. Um, so it looks like they gotta exit from up here. Or maybe exit out the bottom? Yeah, let's see if I can make them exit out the bottom. Yeah, I almost can. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe they still can. Maybe. Almost, almost. 
Maybe you gotta come a bit more in. Go over a bit this way. Almost try to use... That's a dead end. That is a dead end. But I could go out this way. Okay, now I have free reign. Oh my god, this is so beautifully designed. But this is so clever! Every time I keep thinking he's gonna exit in some way, it turns out more of the maze is necessary for this. This is so clever. This is unbelievably clever. Is this... Is this the way out? That is so good! What the hell? What an awesome maze. I'm out. A locked chest. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Combination vault. Okay, interesting. Is it about number of directions I have to move? Well, here I went up then right. So would this count as a one? Yeah, because it's not total number of um, turns. Yeah, is it about turns or about corners? Because the move I made could correlate to this, where the bottom right has a red wall, which kind of correlates to this being a two by two. These three are empty. This one's filled in, just like that two by two. I'm going to go with that right now. So I do another one of those. This goes up. How do I actually get out of here, huh? Well, there's multiple ways out. If I round this... Wait, what? What did I just do? What is it? Huh? It could be telling me a lot of things. What if I solve another puzzle and maybe that gives me an idea? Hungry snake, eat all the dots. I am the snake. I see, I have to eat all the dots without physically getting stuck. And I can't turn around. So I should be careful about exactly where I go. Well, I think that early on, I should actually restart and maybe consider going up and out this way. Because, I mean, these look really cramped, so I should really just take advantage of the space I have. Because otherwise, I can't get those. Uh, I could skip over that little piece. Again. And then maybe come around here. Because it looks like, to me, this here is pretty small. Not quite trapped in or anything, but I imagine this will be just barely too... Oh, no! I can sneak past my own self. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Then I can get that loop in the bottom left. Hopefully the direction does not matter here. Hmm. Well, even if it does matter, maybe I could do like a funny little turnaround here? No? How do I get that tiny little piece? Maybe I could do a big loop like this? No, then I'll probably still hit my own little... No? Okay, good. Awesome. That's how you do it. My worm is full. Okay, can't do these. RYB. Oh yeah, this is the same person who made the game RYB. Space to rotate. So it's also a multi-layered puzzle, and I assume that um, you could transition from puzzle to puzzle. Is the exit only at red? Yeah, I would assume so. Okay, can I go anywhere here? I can go to yellow. Maybe from here I can go to blue. Maybe from here I can go... Well, I don't know, I'm just kind of following it right now. Following my intuition. Seems like as long as I kind of keep making it towards the right, towards the middle, I could be doing something. Now I'm on an island, stuck there. Okay, let's go up one and rotate to yellow, see if going up here helps. Hold on. From here, I could do a funny little connection to blue, then a funny little connection to red based off that, then to blue, then to yellow, then to blue, then to red. Nice. This is how you beat the game. Wait, no, I can't do anything. Wait, I found a coin. What the hell? How did I get a coin? I think I just opened the chest. Oh, nice. Solved the puzzle. No escape. Um, I'm spelling out something. R-E-A-D-T-H... No. E. The un... Uni, unused... Letters? Read the unused letters. P-R-E-S-S. -S, press. T-H-E, press the E-C-A-P-E, -E, escape key. Press the escape key. Ah, there's the door. Does the phrase change now? It, uh, no, I think that just solves the puzzle. Okay, nice. My six-year-old drew this maze. <laughs> Put your mouse here to begin. I need to get to the shield, the sword, and the magic potion. Oh, okay. I don't need to drag it, I just need to move it. I got the shield. <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. Got the sword. Now I can defeat the goblin. Destroy the... Okay, I passed the goblin. Got the magic potion. That is adorable. 
I'm safe from the lava at the end. There's a spiral you can get trapped in. Don't do that. I made it! I solved the puzzle designed by a six-year-old. Clap. <laughs> a scavenger hunt. Find the missing items. Define missing. How do I even interact with this puzzle? Escape key? Right click? Do I just walk up the things? Oh, I need to find stuff from outside the puzzle, I'm sure, and bring it in. Speaking of stuff from outside the puzzle, there's putting the pieces together. There's a piece under my face cam, and I gotta literally drag the puzzle together. Oh, spacebar to rotate pieces, though. Oh, so it's never that easy. Don't know the correct way yet. Because I probably don't want to make any sort of dead end. Oh, I see. I think I... I think I was already kind of wrong. I think here might actually stand a better ch eh, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Right now, I actually don't have too much that's good. Maybe it's a different corner piece? There's another edge piece. Gotta start from somewhere. I mean, this looks pretty right. Maybe this is a funny little path here. Then this could go here. I guess that's something. That actually does look like a full complete maze. Does it work though? No, it doesn't. It's wrong. All right, this piece is definitely right because it actually leads to the exit and lines up with the starting piece. I feel like these two are meant to switch. Yeah, that looks a lot better, but not perfect, but better. I wonder if the other two corners are meant to switch. That looks better. Getting there, getting there, maybe swap these two pieces. Well, that looks right. This has to be right then. Yeah, let's go. I did it. See, inside hills. Oh, what the? Oh, there's a maze in the hill? Okay, we'll get to that, like, eventually. Untitled draft. What the hell? <laughs> Notes. Idea is to have the maze blocks with arrows. Push the player when you click on them. Need to add to the maze. Everything is spawning in a weird place. But movement of the player isn't working either. Add text that says press Z to undo. Do press R to restart. Okay, I see. Definitely a draft maze. Definitely not a working, functioning maze on its own. And I... Okay, there's more of it up here. You can't hide from me. I know your secrets. I don't know how I would win, though. I... Oh, can I push a block? Yeah, can blocks... What the... What did I do? Okay, that's not what I expected. Can I push a block with a block? Oh, I can. Ooh, okay. That changes a little then. Because I'm like, I don't have a way to win otherwise. I'm actually going to reset just with that new knowledge. See if I can do anything with it. Maybe I, like, got to bring in these blocks from earlier? Oh, yeah, yeah, from earlier. You can just push this over in the beginning and then send this down to have the right row. There we go. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, all the way over. Surprisingly tricky, but I just didn't see that option until now. You found a painting. Click and hold to pick up. Does this go in the missing items? Oh, I see now. Now that I've found it, it actually becomes a maze, so I need to click the actual things. Well, where are the things? Are they hidden in the options? I don't think so. Oh, this, the exit is like right there. Oh, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> what does this do? Okay, so you move twice. Whoa, okay. So you automatically jump twice. Oh, you can jump over walls, though. Okay, neat. Well, I can also go this way. I can't jump into a wall. But I can be shifted once. Oh, this jumps me over the exit again, but I probably have to do that. I bet. So actually, is there a better spot? I need to hit this arrow somehow. Or I just need to land here. So I can jump here, jump here. Maybe this arrow. Could be here then. Could then be here. Could be here, could be here, could be here. From this arrow. Could then be here, could be here, could be here. Okay, nice, found it. Hit the arrow, go down. Up, over, 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 over. Very clever. You found a clock. It's slowly solving this puzzle. Oh, password reminder. Ah, a reminder for the password. What? Is this a Sokoban? Ah, it's a Sokoban. <laughs> is it actually going to spell out the password when you solve it? Where do I got to go? Because I'm the at. The stars are pushable. Do I even have a goal? Maybe I just need to push all these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, it seems like there's pretty e obvious nooks to push these guys in. Can I double push? I can double push. Should I double push? 
No, double push gets me stuck, so I have to single push. So I think I just want to push as many of these as possible. I can push like this and then keep going. This is a classic. You push the outside, then you push the inside over. Push this down to where? To here. Push it to here. But I can't go right. Oh, wait, AD. Oh, okay. It looks like it's just going to get uncovered with time. That's nice, because when I pass through the middle, I get a new character, ADM. Okay, at least I have a goal now. I could snake around like this. Then the middle... Uh, no, I'd have to go like this. Admin? I'm gonna guess admin. Oh, here's a sun. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. That was pretty simple. Oh, progress to beating the game. I need the battery. Uh, I have the combination vault still. What about this? I have to include a sliding puzzle. It's the law. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Um, how do I want to line this up then? What lines up with this? It's the fourth from the left. Could be that. Oh, why is this one tough, actually? There's, there's a lot of options. Like, a lot, a lot of them. Like, first I have to figure out the maze. Then I gotta figure out how to make it. This ain't easy at all. Okay, but, oh, but I can move with them. So actually, that does help quite a lot. Now, is this the place where I want to be? I have no idea. Ideally, I want to figure out how to get into that piece. What if I try, like, a, uh, going into this piece or something? Uh, I don't know if I can do anything with that, but maybe. Is there anything for that, bro? Uh, I guess there is one option. Yeah, I could go into here. This may work, this may work. Forcing me into here? Yeah, I'm close, I can feel it. Wait, no. This is a similar dilemma, actually. Yeah, it's no better than before, damn it. Okay, here's a different idea. What if I come on over to this piece, and then line it up with this piece here? Come around like this, okay? New territory. Then I can come on over to this piece, again new territory. Which can then get, get me to the sharp corner, new territory again, which can then get me to the fourth column, which is actually big new territory because it wins. Why did that take long? <laughs> uh, where's the battery? Oh, I found a- oh, it's a book. That's what books look like? I've never seen one before. I need a bone as well. Hey, I found a bone. Okay, how do I solve the puzzle? There's the door. Puzzle is easy from here. The combination vault. What is it alluding to? So it's like a four-way intersection and then something diagonal from the intersection, but that's not a good way to look at it. Or a two by two, the only one of those. And there's multiple paths to get to the exit. So maybe I just need to find like all the funny trails. Surely it's not b boxes and corners because very few of them are actually in corners. And it doesn't always appear behind me if I'm going a certain speed or straight for a certain amount of time. It seems to only show up in certain spots. I have no idea what it's getting at. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe if I divide the puzzle up into four quadrants, like um, the first one would be the number of orange squares in the upper right. Second one would be number of orange squares in the bottom left. And then upper left, bottom right? Maybe? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it's more than ten. I mean, I guess they physically look like a number four. Maybe that's it? These physically look like a number four? Let's see if there's anything in the bottom right that's kind of like that. Well, here, we got a base. Yeah, a base and then a vertical line. And then it goes over. I mean, that's, that's a seven in the bottom right. That is a seven. Maybe, maybe I'm onto something. Upper right, what do we got? Oh, well, this is probably like an eight, isn't it? Or maybe a nine? Oh, that's a nine! <laughs> wow, I actually am shocked I got this at all. This has to be it. Then this is like over, down, over, down, over. That's a five! <laughs> there were so many possibilities until I finally found the one. That's it. What? Unless if like one of these was actually a one, maybe the seven was a one? Yeah, the seven was a one. Okay, uh, even more deadly because this one does not have a base, but the one in the maze had a base. That's cruel. Then again, sevens don't have a base either. It's just cruel regardless. 
You cannot move this puzzle inside the hills. Okay, well, um, where does it go? I can only see a certain amount of it at a time. Well, I wonder if there's a second maze inside the hills. Oh, it's going on my face cam. I guess you'll have to use your imagination. Who knows what wizardry is happening under my face cam? Oh, a naked puzzle. Definitely, I'm glad that nobody saw that. It's terrible things, terrible things. Nothing that anyone, anyone should see. Oh, 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 I'm missing something. Oh, I am. A ghost maze. Ooh, ooh, okay, it wants to hide behind this. So I have to keep moving it around. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, scary. Ooh. All right, I think I found it. You will not hide from me anymore. Is that the last? Oh. Is it? Is it the last? Hey, it is. Nice. Thanks, Fleb. That was a fun short little experience. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more puzzle games, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and peace.